Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can insert a PDF document directly into Microsoft Word. There's a couple of different ways to do this and there's different results that you get from it. So let's go ahead and jump right down into the desktop and take a look. So here we have a blank Microsoft Word document and we want to insert a PDF document into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually head on over to the insert tab and then over here on the far right hand side, we have something called object. Okay, and this is under the text subsection of the insert ribbon. Now from here, we can go ahead and click on this object item and we're going to see lots of different options here, right? The first thing that we might wanna do is click on one of these, but actually what we want to do is we want to embed a document that we already have, not create something new. So we wanna create from file, okay? And then here we wanna hit on browse. From this, we're going to come down and find a invoice that I wanna embed. I'm just gonna use this one right here and we're going to click insert set. Okay, now we have the ability to do a couple of different things. We want to display it as an icon like this within our document that people can open. Well, we can do that. Otherwise, we can just leave these unchecked and click OK. And when we do this, it's going to basically make the PDF actually look like a document that is contained inside our document here now, or in our Word document that is. Now we can't edit any of this text, right? It's just a PDF file that's visible inside of our um, Word document. Now we can do this a couple of different ways. If we were to double click this, it's going to open up the PDF. Okay, if I double click it, it's gonna open up P this PDF as you can kind of see right here. Okay, and we can obviously do whatever we want with this uh, our PDF like so, right? And that's just opening it up in Adobe. Now, if we go back over to the insert part of the ribbon, go over to this little drop down menu from our object and we choose the object again. Yeah, actually, sorry, from text, sorry, this one right here or text from file. What this will allow us to do is actually import the, um, the data itself, right? So if we insert this again, it's going to basically give us a little bit of a warning. We're going to click OK on it and it's going to add all of the text here. OK, and it adds it as text rather than just a PDF image. So it's no longer really a PDF. It has imported everything as if it were text. OK, so a couple of different ways to kind of approach this. But if you have found this useful and informative, maybe solves your problem, hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing for more hints and tips and I'll catch you all in the next one.